six zero eight twenty one and also on zero six twenty two two zero two one. Um oh Kevin's here. Hello, Kevin. Well, he was here. He I admitted was. him. Yeah. I don't know where he went. Okay, well, I guess just drive on with business as, as usual then, I guess, until he shows up. Um, the first thing um, we would need to do, is, does anybody have any questions or comments on the minutes uh, in reference of June 8th, 2021? Does anybody have any corrections, any thing they want added or removed that should be removed from them? I do not. Okay. All right. Um, I make the motion that the Finance Committee votes to approve the minutes for June 8th of 2021. I second. That's where we at. How's it going? Okay. You're here, Kevin? I can't hear you. Can you hear me at all? Robert, if you could hear me, could you raise your hand? I can hear you, Kevin. Can you hear us? Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Could you raise your hand if you can hear me? Robin? Okay. I'm not. Can you hear anything now, Kevin? Carrie? Yes. Um, everybody has the right. Has, does Kevin need to be unmuted or can he do it himself? No, no, he, he, no one is, um, no one is force muted, so he can unmute himself. Okay, I just want to make sure that wasn't the problem. All yeah, right. yeah, no problem. So we lost Kevin again, it looks like. All right. Um, I second that motion you made to approve the minutes. Yes. OK. You All in favor? Yeah. Aye. Mr. Technology Wizkid can join later. 
Um, how about you, Robin? Aye. Uh, yes. Okay. Also, I I vote affirmative. Aye. Okay. I make the motion that uh, we vote on the finance committee minutes for June twenty second, twenty twenty one. I second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So the motion carries. Uh, next topic is discuss and vote on year end transfers. Um, just FYI, I received literally a couple hours ago that the uh, fire department EMS, they're removing the fake do not wish to pursue the second yeet that they sent out, which concerns uh, repairs to the fire truck. Uh, they've decided that they don't want to go with that yeet, that the cost may be a little bit more than what they need. So they're gonna try to pursue a different means. I don't know for sure what it's gonna be, but we will discuss the other fire and EMS yeet. Um, but we can start with, uh, let's start with the uh, year-end transfer for the legal uh, parks and RCTS expenses. Um, does anybody have any questions on these that they need clarification on? Any Anything they want to talk about on these? No, I'm good. Okay. Okay. All right, then I will make the motion. Um, I make the motion that uh, the year in transfer of funds between accounts in accordance with chapter 44, section 33B of the Massachusetts General Laws concerning $3,000 from the technology and systems account number 01-5-155-520-365 to legal counsel professional services account number 01-5-151-520. 520-700 in the amount of $3,000. Uh, secondly, uh, town, town common expenses will be transferred from account number 01-05-651-520-400 to Allen Field expenses, account number 01-5-650-520-500 for the amount of $350. And from police wages regular, account number 01-5-210-505-125 to the recycling center transfer station expenses, account number 70-5-430-000 in the amount of $3,500. Need a second. Oh, a second. Sorry. You have to guide me here. Uh, that's no problem. I second those. Transfer. Okay, thank you. Uh, also, for a grand total of $6,850. So I'll need a second on that. I'm sorry. I second uh, the transfer of funds in the amount of $6,850. Yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Okay, the motion passes. Okay, so now we can move on to the fire EMS year end transfer. Okay. Does anybody have any questions or concerns or comments on this? No. Okay. You good on this, Rebecca? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, I make the motion that the year-end transfer of funds between accounts in accordance with Chapter 44, Section 33B of the Massachusetts General Law. Uh, it will be coming from EMT stipend, stipends, account number 01-5-232-510-110 into A19, firefighter, EMT overtime. Account number 01-5-220-515-155, correction, 
Let me say that account number again. 01-5-220-515-155. I don't know why that account number always gives me up. Uh, in, the, in the total of $500. Uh, also from EMT stipend stipends, account number 01-5-232-510-1111-5. Into EMT wages, regular pay, 01-5-232-505-125 in the amount of $1,500 this uh, year in transfer total coming to $2,000. Make, uh, I, I second that. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, okay, the motion passes. Okay, um, does anybody have any business that they did not reason that could not be reasonably anticipated by the committee? And it basically anything that was brought up that they found or want to discuss since Thursday of last week. No? No. Okay. I still don't have Kevin back. Okay. All right. Um, in that case, then I guess we can move on to public questions and comments. Um, if anybody has any comments or questions, please raise your hand. Okay. It looks like uh, Pat has a question. Um, go ahead, Pat. Are you there, Pat? You can unmute yourself, Pat. Okay. So um, there's several several issues. Um, one, I've missed the last couple of meetings. Actually, I'm up in Maine um, at the Beachfront house, house, but I decided I got asked to join for this one. Um, there's a couple of issues going on. One, um, Kevin being on a board member, um, the meeting should not have gone ahead by the open meeting law. Um, somebody should be filing on that, just so you know. Um, <clears throat> the second issue is the legal fees that you're asking is any of that for public safety, because the Board of Selectors have made it very clear under the, and it's not to be done. So if you guys are filing money against what the Board of Selectors is saying for some legal fees, then Rebecca, Robin, and Alton, it's an ethical, including Kevin. It's an ethical, whether you have your license or whatever, it is an ethical complaint. This is what I found out. So I just so people know, ethics, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, that. if you have a counseling license, a nursing license, they are taking the complaints also, people. Enjoy. So what nursing license has so, to do with the public safety building? It doesn't have, it has to do with your credibility, Elton, in Massachusetts, okay? Uh, I, Same with right there, no. I do not believe you're right. Well, but thank you for the information. You know um, I spoke to the secretary. Is there anything else? So we'll leave that alone. Yeah, the issue of Allen Field, um, you guys have been talking a lot about Allen Field, and I spoke to the people in Boxboat um, pertaining to what they are doing. And when there's a renovation on a field now, you have to bring it up to uh, handicapped accessibility, including, including the playgrounds now. Um, so just be careful what you guys are doing there and how much money you're putting in. Because if you raise anything that it's a renovation or a redone of the park, then all those jungle gyms, all the bandstands and everything have to be brought up to handicapped accessible. The lady mm -hmm. at uh, Bowes Allen, that, well, let me finish. The, the lady mm -hmm. at um, Bowes is watching Allen Field now, the okay. VP. So she it got raised to her by somebody. I heard about it. Um, you know, look at what they're doing. It's costing the town in Boxville, I think, $7 million to fix their problems at their box. Okay. So be careful, people. Well, I guess this, this is not for anything involving okay. the field, Patrick. Okay. No, well, it was 650 so I'm just raising it. Um, 350 So the EMT wages, now the question is, is the EMT wages itself, they've actually had less EMT calls last year and this year compared to what they had in prior years. 
And the actual EMT calls have actually gone down overall. So I don't get why we're being asked to increase budget when the wage, when the amount of calls have decreased, including the fire department, have decreased. Um, so this is where everybody's coming up. Because I, I don't have to send them. They're up on Facebook, or you can request them yourself. Go to Facebook? please, Alden. Take your own, do your own reporting. Please do I, your job. I don't think. I don't think I'm not, you are, you are not correct in your assumptions that okay. this year is less than last year. Eldon, do me a favor. Take the time. Go to the annual town report that the clerk puts out, that the mm -hmm. town administrator works with the fire chief and the numbers are put up there. Now, if you're telling me the clerk's lying, then you need to address that with her. If you're no, telling me the fire chief is lying, that. then you need to address that with her. Okay, every year you're saying everybody's wrong, but you're not looking at the facts. Take time, please. It's black and white. Either blame the people that are putting out the report, but blame somebody other than people that are telling you about it. Do a, do a job as a chairperson. Look it up. Now, if you're telling me the chief is telling you different numbers, then publish those numbers. Everybody wants to know because without publishing them, Somebody's lying to us. It's, it's the same as you guys asking for this money. The chief made it very clear he will never ask for that budget increase because he was starting to set aside his capital fund for repairs and stuff like that and to replace equipment. He would never ask. He made it very clear to the finance and it's recorded. But you guys turn around and keep giving him money for this or raising it because he went and bought a pickup truck with it. We okay. gave him the money for the, for the impacts and all that other stuff. So don't come to us and tell us we're lying when you were telling you the facts. Because it's recorded. Okay, Alden, by the way, I have as long as any person that's not on the committee that speaks. Remember right. that law. It's under, thank you guys all a case, a copy of it. Just so you know. know. I don't even know what you just under said. Under the Native Spalding case law, Rebecca, Robin, and the town council. Town council says, yes, we are complying. You have as long as the town, longest person that speaks that's not a member of the committee by law. Yes, so but it's also, if you wish to be different than what the board is doing, what this town is saying, you individually are responsible. Look at this case. Okay, and, and you can hold me individually responsible, Pat. What I'm saying is you have spoke your mind. You get two minutes to speak, at which point then there is a response from the committee. You've been interrupting the whole time. Then you've been interrupting. So my time reset every single time. Look at the minutes. And if you want to challenge me, every single person in this thing, I've done an asset comparison. I will slap a cease and desist tomorrow. So make sure what you do, Alden, that the other people on this committee can financially support it. I have a right to speak on this Baldy Native First Amendment right. You don't have a right to stipend me. And if you stipend me and the other committee members allow it, they're just as responsible by law. Hmm. On the First Amendment, civil rights. Wake up. This is where I, this is how I speak. ended up in the math. This is where I went to the Massachusetts Department of Health and asked it. Rebecca, being on that committee, if I got stipend under my First Amendment, any ethical issue against her or anybody, including a nurse in Massachusetts, will be looked at by the licensing board. You don't have a right to lie to people or treat people different because you sit on a committee than what you do in the medical industry. Move on. You can have what you want, but I'm making it clear. I will file. And I don't care who you are. I've already got nine complaints on ethics on people, so I don't have a problem filing. I have a legal team doing these now. All right, I didn't set aside three hundred thousand for peanuts to, to play this hey, game. Hey, hey. Watch your language. Well, then, then let people speak and stop interrupting. You do not get to use profanity. You do not use cuss words in a public meeting at which juveniles may be present. You, you do not that. interrupt. Do you understand oh. English? Yes, do I do. You understand English? Yeah. Don't, don't interrupt people. Read the case. Read the case. I've read your case, Pat. It does not apply. It does. Um, 
Well, get on with your point. Mike, get on with your point and be Mike, done. Mike McCollum said it applied. Legal said it applied when I first presented this to them from the attorney general open meeting. So I don't know why you say you have an attorney. I understand you know better than them. You have an attorney. I understand. Thank you for the recording that you know better than legal. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. I'm just telling everybody. Continue, Patrick. Individually responsible legally. You know, I can I can go on and on. Uh, are, are you done now? Well, you know, I mean, I'm talking you ethics have a here. You guys want to talk ethics. On ethics issues, you have a person that's sitting here that went after replacement because they have a doggy care when they were on a real estate website showing that they're making income. And they're registering it as a personal, not as a corporation. Okay. Under that, under that, I also have 15 what dogs there, which are only supposed to have 10. I mean, you guys have to, these laws you guys think you're going to be breaking are Patrick, not going to happen no more. What we're talking about, what does that have to do with income business? If you want to have an editorial, you have to trust the sitting on a committee. Credibility, paper, Alvin, credibility right, on the committee. That paper. Credibility on the committee. Credibility on the committee. It has nothing to credibility do with the owning. It has nothing to do with the other things. committee member. Not. Credibility. Credibility of a committee member. <laughs> Okay, so now are you done? Move on. Yep. Okay, thank you, Pat. All right, and uh, let's see, an answer to your question. That money is going towards repairs of the bathroom facility because it is unusable at Allen Field. Okay. Um, I have spoke with plenty of people, and you're, you're the best... You say that there are less calls this year than there was last year. That's not true. I think maybe you are interpreting the data incorrectly. Um, you may feel free to file any grievance you feel that you want to file. By all means, please do. Um, as far as the 300 other things you were talking about, I don't even remember half of them, so I can't really comment on but um, anybody else have any comments, questions? Yes. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Well, it's it's not showing up. It's not showing up, Eldon. Let me speak, would you? Because I don't want to. I don't want to lose my internet connection. I finally got you. Okay. So once again, thank thank God for Verizon. Please, Alden, I'm speaking. So I'd like to I'd like to just re rehash the. Um, I know I know more than likely you guys voted on all of the year end transfers before I even got here. Is that correct? Yes, it is. It's thirty minutes after the meeting started. Hello? So, Alden, you smoking a bong? Hello, uh, can you hear me? Okay, well, so I just got a couple. Of, I just got a. Eldon, what? Would would you please stop speaking? And let I'm me not speak? speaking, Kevin. I don't know what you're hearing. I don't know what your your connection is doing to you, but I'm not saying a word. Well then. Okay, so. I will just say this and hopefully you get all of the words. So I would like to know if there were any questions raised with regards to the firefighter EMT wages or the truck on the repair. Okay, well, first of all, that was not, that was removed. It was removed from the, by the fire department of the town, they decided not pursue the repairs which and part that, as what do you mean what part the repairs to the fire truck that yeet was a couple hours ago it was removed i was told that it's been removed that they're not going to pursue it they're going to go down other avenues of, for, to pursue that so we did not vote on that as far as the uh emt fire firefighter wages we're back I'm not sure what what questions you expected to be asked. 
Kevin, I raised the fact that the numbers this year were lower than for the EMTs in the prior years. And they, unfortunately, the board is not willing to give up the numbers to show different, the numbers that have been collected. So I expect the board would Patrick, consider to give up the Patrick, numbers first. Point of order. Point of order. You do not, you address the chair. You do not address other people in the meeting. You do not address other members of the FinCom. You address the chair. Okay. If, it, if he was intelligent, I would. Then fine. You don't need to speak then, I guess. <laughs> you address me. If you don't want to address me, then you can just. Can I, can I ask Mike? Go ahead, Kevin. Can I ask my questions? Yes, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. So. The money, the money, the four thousand, three thousand, or four thousand dollars. I mean, there was an email from Jennifer for four thousand, and yet the year end transfer looks like it was for three thousand. Was that removed from tonight's meeting? Are you referring to? Let me see here. Are you referring to? You're not talking about the wages, right? You're talking about the repair line stuff, right? I am I am I am asking about the repairs for the fire truck. Yes, that that gate was on removed. the agenda tonight for a year end transfer. Yes, that gate has been removed Why? by the fire department because they are going to pursue it might prove to be more expensive, so they have decided that they will pursue other options later on to try to get it fixed and they asked me to remove that yeet. It's no longer in consideration. It's also been removed from the select board meeting. Okay, so, what, so let's, let's, all right, so why do we have, again, and I asked this question at the last meeting, why do we have so much firefighter EMT and firefighter wages? And please do not insult my intelligence, Eldon, by saying, well, if you work 40 hours and you have a fire, you can't tell the person I can't come to fight your fire because I can't have any overtime. So it looks like we've got two out of the three board of selectmen on the meeting this evening. We've got Matthew Leonard and if that is David Nadeau, raise your hand. Um, and if it is, did they file for an agenda for tonight's wait, meeting? Wait, wait, wait. Point of order. That's point a of question. Order. Point of order. Well, why do we have so much? Point of order. Point of order. They do not have. Okay, good. They cannot discuss. Point of order. I'm waiting. Okay. They are here to observe the meeting. They are not here to voice an opinion on any matter that falls under their purview. Okay, so. We have to leave them out of this, okay? Well, it looks like Terry Cantor answered, point of order, point of order. It looks like Terry Cantor answered my question. She says that is not David Nadu. Okay. Okay, I don't know how she'd know that, but all right. Maybe that person secretly emailed her, who knows? So uh, back, so back to my original, all right, so okay, so now, let me ask you a question. As a citizen of the Finance Committee, so do we know what was wrong with the fire truck? Yes, the rear brakes did not pass safety inspection. Because it matters. Yes, because the rear brakes of engine two did okay. not yep. pass the safety inspection rating, so they need to be fixed. The problem being, is that they have disc brakes back there. For a couple of years, they made fire trucks with disc brakes. Drum brakes are what are needed for a vehicle of that size. So what the problem is, they're having a hard time finding parts for those vehicles because it was only used for such a short time that they're searching the whole country to find the parts to fix it. And that's where the issue is coming in. What year is, what year is this truck? 1991. And they're, and they're having a hard time finding drums for a 1991 vehicle. It's a disc brake. I mean, has 
Because I thought you said it was a drum break. No, I said that most trucks would have a drum break. My internet is un my internet connection is unstable. Okay, they should have a drum break. All right, so okay, all right, so it's a disc break. Okay, so it's a disc break, and they can't find pots for it. They are having a hard time scavenging around. Correct. Time. Yes, but but correct, but. Kevin, we're not even approving that you're in transfer. So, I mean, I, I don't know why we're discussing it. Well, um, well, because as a concerned citizen of Ashby, I would like to know whether or not I am on this committee or not. I would think a lot of people would like to know what is the condition of the fire equipment in this town? Where did this fail? So let's ask the next question. And, and I'm not going to hammer this to death, but I would like to know if you know where where was the inspection done? In what I facility? What state done. facility? It was done by a state inspect state approved inspector. I do not know where it was done, but it was done by a state approved inspector. Okay, so I mean that could be any garage that does stickers. Is no, what you're saying. That's no. a generic statement. No, it has and my understanding, my understanding from Chief Bustle in the past is that it needs to be done at specific locations who only work on safety apparatus that are owned by municipalities due to what they are used for. So, you know, it well, can't be done by Joe's garage down on Route 13. That's what I'm. That's what I'm driving at. That's what I'm driving at. First of all, that is not what was done. Do you agree with that? Inspector that inspects fire equipment. It was not Joe Snuffy's garage down some dirt road that he knows. It was done by a state inspector that is licensed to inspect. And well, I, I understand that. Okay, all right. I mean, it's just, Eldon, you got to understand something. We, you know, and, and since you are new to this, and really you are, um, you know, for all the years of being on the committee, when it comes to year-end transfers, they, it always stands out that the fire department always seems to need a lot of money transferred to their accounts. And I've often wondered the question, who actually signs the payroll receipts or the, the timesheets for the fire department? For the amount of volunteers that we have, we had $14,000 in funds transferred, most of it out of the police department's line items, uh, line budget, the budget of the police department two weeks ago. And some of it was for EMT stipends funds. And yet this week, we're using $10,000 out of the EMT stipend to pay for firefighter overtime, EM, um, firefighter EMT overtime, and firefighter wages regular pay. Did anybody, has anybody ever wondered what, what they do? that they need all of this? I mean, is this all just practice and recurrency? Do we really have that many fires in Ashby? Are we rescuing cats? Or is it just training? As a taxpayer, this bothers me. Well, And it should um, bother anybody in this town. You have to understand the firefighters and as the chairperson as the, I'm sorry as the chairperson you you really want to might do a little bit more due diligence from one former chairperson to a new one you might want to do a little bit more due diligence 
and actually raising your hand and asking these questions. There is nothing wrong with that. Granted, you, do you realize how much money came out of the police budget for all of their firefighter year-end transfers? And it just keeps on coming. Now, play the devil's, devil's advocate. What if, the fight, what if the police chief actually had a full crew? Where would all of the money come from? The reserve fund transfer line is still pretty much intact. How come nobody has come for a reserve fund transfer? Why are we leaving all the money in the reserve fund transfer line? Okay, would you like my answers to most of your questions? You're gonna, you, you've got all this in, yes, yes, I would. I would, Eldon. Yes, thank you. First of all, I'm trying to remember all the statements you made. Um, the person, if you're wondering what the pay is. Well, for, ask me and I'll just rephrase you. I'll, re, I'll refresh your memory. Can I speak now? Payroll. Can I speak now? Well, no, what I said was, was if you need. Yes, Eldon, you have the floor. Thank you. If you are curious about what kind of hours the fire department is putting in, my advice would be to go talk to the accountant. If you are curious as to how many hours people are putting in, what kind of, how many calls for services they are getting, then you should probably talk to the town accountant. Um, the stipend, are you aware what the stipend is? The EMT stipend, are you aware what that is? Okay. So I am going to ask you to educate me on what the stipend is. Okay, what that is, is money that they've had through the year in order to have EMTs on call for, I believe it was a eight to 12 hour shift on call where they are guaranteed, you know, they say we will be here and we can respond to the EMT. Not as many people signed up for that or partook of that for various reasons, maybe because, you know, they couldn't donate the 12 hour block but they still went to call, but they couldn't donate a 12 hour block to guarantee they'd be there. So he had extra in that. So what he's doing is he's taking that extra to pay for the firefighter wages because they have had a large call volume. You know, they have had to, every time we go and we, we have a mutual agreement with surrounding communities. So if their station gets emptied, we have to send a truck there to cover their station, just like they will do for us if our station's empty. And that's when those firefighters get paid for that too. They, I don't know if they get paid for training. I don't believe they do. I think that's where they're just giving up their time to learn something. Um, so that doesn't have anything to do with it. Um, so that is where those wages are coming from because of the large call volume. Uh, in order for you to find their call volume, you would probably need to talk to the chief down at the fire department and I'm sure he would be more than happy to give you the numbers to show what his call volume was for this year. So that's where that's, that's why that's up because it's up because it's a dry year. It was a very dry year at the beginning of the year and there was a lot of fires and there was a lot of calls for service. So that's why it's up. Um, and on a on-call department, it's very difficult to get an exact budget. It, it's not, you know, employees that work 40 hours a week, so you know exactly what your payout is for salaries for that year. You don't know. Some fires may take six hours to fight. Some fires may take 30 minutes. So it's very difficult. So, yes, you're probably always going to run into this thing with the fire department or stuff like that because it's very hard to plan a budget to the numbers for a year when you don't know how much your employees are going to work for you or how many of your employees are going to work for you. So that's why we run into this, but it's not a year. And also it's, it's not a reserve funds transfer because his line is not empty. He has sources to pull money from to pay another line. So that's why he's doing a year end transfer and as opposed to a reserve funds transfer. 
He doesn't need us to give him money. He just needs permission to move money from point A to point B to cover his expenses till the end of the year. Okay? Does that answer your questions, Kevin? Uh, yeah, except I, I do want to correct you on a couple of things. Okay. Um, part of part of what you say part of what you say makes sense and, and is partially true. With um, you can't with a fire department, you can't always come up and say, "I know what my budget is going to be exactly." But on the other hand. With two ambulances for the last few years, Chief Bustle has said, with the amount of calls that we've had, he's working and is gaining ground on being able to take what money does come into the town to offset and have a self-sufficient fire department, which would alleviate any financial burden on the town, basically in the lieu of your taxes aren't going to go up as much this year because we make enough money on ambulance runs to offset. And unfortunately, that hasn't happened. And I don't believe it's ever going to happen. Because okay, well, Kevin. he keeps saying it and it's, it's just not happening. Okay. I mean, well, Kevin, every year I, there always seems to be something that's happening with the fire department. Well, what I what I am asking you, Eldon, though, Eldon, what I am asking you, what I am asking you, your responsibility as the finance chair should be to ask these questions. Now, you say to me, why don't you go to the town accountant? Why should I go to Terry Walsh? Who is the manager of this town? Well, we don't have a manager. The administrator of this town, Bob Hansen. And then we have a fire chief and we have a police chief. So why is it that we have one chief who can stay in his budget and we have another? How many people are on the roster? I have asked that question and there's no answer on the fire department. Find me the roster. Well, it's always the same people. Kevin. Firefighter EMT Kim Milowski. Okay, he, Kevin. He gets... He, Kevin, let, let me address some of your statements so far, okay? Um, first of all, we'll go back from... We'll, I'll jump around and try to answer them. Uh, the roster is constantly evolving. I mean... There's people that come, there's people that leave and stuff like that. So it could be hard for me to do that. The police chief, it's taken him eight to nine years to get the budget you see. And the fire department has been basically kind of ignored or it didn't ask for much for quite some time. So they're a little bit behind the power curve right now of trying to get caught up to where they are able to do these things. Um, also, the fire chief has never said that the ambulance service will pay for the fire department. He has never said that. He has said that the ambulance service pays for itself plus a little bit extra. And until they change a bylaw, the extra goes back to the town. You can't take it and put it into the fire department. I, we've talked. I've talked with him just like you should probably do. You should probably go down and talk to him, have a heart to heart, you know, and guys just discuss things and I mean he would be able to provide you a lot of the information you're asking for um, but he's hoping that eventually he can get it to where he can have a capital plan where the surplus that the ambulance service produces goes into the fire department to help pay for capital expenses in the future but that requires I believe a town bylaw in order for him to do that so he is trying to get things up to speed, but it's been, it was previously, no one wanted to rock the boat. No one wanted to ask for money, especially after the, you know, the disappearing, the self fire truck that never was, um, which 
was, you know, things were dropped on many levels for that. But and I'm not dropping it on the, the chief because he's not the one that signed for him. Um, but since that time, they put in checks and balances to prevent that sort of thing. But he wants to get the capital plan going so that he can buy trucks because he's he's got a lot of old trucks and he needs to get them taken care of. And he's hoping that the ambulance sur surplus would help to offset anything to the voters for when they have to do a capital investment. He's also trying to cut his fleet down by purchasing trucks that are hybrids. All right, I'm back. At once. So, so he's trying, but he's been there four years. You can't turn this thing around in four years. It took the police chief seven to eight years to get turned to the point where he is now. So you got to give him some time. And, you know, and he's not. Are you, are you answering my question? What was your question that I didn't answer? Are you answering my question, Eldon? Because I got kicked off again. Yes, I answered. I'm your sorry. Question. Yes, I answered your question. I'm not going to go back through it again, though. Oh, I got it, kicked off, be... so I missed it. Okay. Well, it'll, it'll, it, we're recording this, so if you want to, you can watch the video. But I'm not going to go back. Go well, back of course I will. Again. I have. I have, I have one more. I have one more statement I would like to make. May I, okay. may I ask one more question? As long as it's been com related, yes. Thank you. Thank you. It is, it is, oh, it is very much FinCom related. Um, it, it has to do with Doug Lieb and his request for all of the minutes to all of our meetings. Okay, point of order. And here. you would ask me to help you point of in order. getting all of the minutes to those, wait, to get no. all of the minutes to those meetings together. Could I finish, Eldon, please? It's just a second. I want to caution you. I'm sorry. I want to caution you. If you bring this up, you cannot. No, I, I had the floor. On what this means, you cannot give your personal opinion on that person. You cannot do any of that. If you're bringing it up and it's a legitimate question, that's fine. Go ahead. I didn't give my personal, Alden. Alden, I did not give my personal opinion on this person. Okay. Then I did not you. give my personal opinion. I just said. Doug Lieb is on the call. Doug Lieb is the one who wanted all of the minutes to the meetings. Okay. That's what I said, right? Okay, good. So now what I would like to say to you is, for the record, you came back to me, asked for my help. I basically said no, because I didn't write down any minutes to any of those meetings. That yeah. wasn't my position. I wouldn't say you basically said no. You insulted some people and then said that. I am the chair. You turned around and said to me, let me finish. Please do not interrupt. Just let me finish. You know, this meeting could end a lot sooner if you would stop doing that to everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. You turned around and said you were going to act. Not not in these words, but basically, you were just going to make up stories, theoretically, for every single meeting because there weren't minutes. I don't have I don't have the exact wordage, but that's what you intend to do, just to satisfy Mr. Lieb, of a government body, that is not in office anymore. So you, you really don't want to go down that path. You really should not. Well, let's see if I can find my official response to you. Um, let me see here. Because I, I don't want to go to my email because I'll, I'll definitely lose you. And I don't, I don't want to miss any more of what you're saying to me. Okay. Well, then I shall see if I can find... And so I will say... Oh my God, I I'm offended. I I'm really sorry, Ian. I'm really sorry for that. Well, first of all, I did not say anything about that. I would just make up stories and put whatever I want on them. No, no, no. You, I I told, what, Eldon, I know, I know you didn't. What I am saying, what I am saying is, 
I, I don't dare open up another screen because I will absolutely get kicked off my line. Yeah. What I'm saying is, is I'm, I'm ad living. And I said, I don't have the exact wordage, but you basically, you were going to figure out what it is you thought you should put in there. Not in those words. If Let's you got a more one. powerful and better signal than me, if you pull up your email to me and you tell me what you wrote, I'll tell you whether or not that, yes, that is what you said, or no, that is not what you okay. said. Do you give me permission to read and my so that way the there, email that I sent to you in on response? This call. Do you give me permission to read the email that I sent to you in response? Would you like me to put that out there? Sure. You, I, I know where you're going to go with this. Here, here is the verbatim. Do you want to detect anything, or you're gonna, you're gonna, you gonna? No, this is verbatim what you said. Or I'll, I'll read first. You verbatim. said, Angela, I would like to know who made the public records request this time. To me, you said maybe your wife owes me an apology. Otherwise, you need to ask me nicely. I replied to you, my wife owes you an apology. I think not. For what? After Correct. reading the emails, when is my apology due? It is fine. You can feel free to behave like a child. Like someone else, I won't list their name on that I wrote on there. I will put the minutes together with the appropriate caveats and annotations. I did not anywhere say that I would make things up. Thank you. That is correct. Yes. I, you know, Eldon, you, you are a selective hearing. I never said you were going to make things up. What I said to you was, and go back and look, listen to the recording later. What I said to you was, was I don't have the exact words. That's not what you said. But it, Review the video. So, I'm sorry, you broke up. I said that's not what you said. That's what everybody Okay, I'll review the video. You review the video. We'll sit down, have a cup of coffee, and go over the video together. All I am saying is, is how are you going to come up with wordage to meet things if you didn't if you didn't take any minutes did you record the meeting no don't worry i'm i've submitted the minutes wow charlie's going to bring his kids to the next meeting awesome i've submitted the minutes you can read them once they're posted you can read them but i've submitted them. uh tell your son a bong a bong is something you But what are you going to submit? If you didn't write, if you didn't take minutes, how do you know? That's what I'm asking you. I've submitted the minutes and you can read them once they're up on the site. Oh, you already, you already submitted all the yeah, because minutes to all of these meetings? Yeah, because the only other existing thing... Wow, I'm members being threatened. ...refused to assist me. I am being so threatened. I, that. I am being threatened by this Charlie. By what? Charlie wants me to be at town hall in the morning. I am being threatened by Charlie. Uh, don't go and you won't have a worry about it. Simple. Um... And that doesn't sound well, like a threat. Is he gonna is he gonna beat me up? How about we focus on what you're talking about? Okay. Oh, let's let's I, not let's not divulge to playground antics of are you gonna beat me up? You know, let's step above that. Forget that. Okay. If you have a problem with him, you can discuss it in your own private time. Well, I mean, I'm looking, I'm looking at what well, when I lose the signal, man, it's that's it. Game over. It doesn't matter. Okay, that ignore. All right. You know what? There's, there's a. You have you have somebody who wants to make. You have somebody who has, wants to get their hand raised. Okay. Well, are you done? You have somebody who has their hand raised. Are you done speaking? Well, I guess I got to go and see what kind of minutes you want for all of these. My God, man, you don't let somebody speak. You're the dictator like Mike. I'll go and see what the minute you wrote and see if it makes any sense at all. Okay. 
they're not posted yet, but okay. All right. Okay, so okay. you're done now? All right. Well, Terry's on. Maybe Terry can maybe Terry can send put a I misread Charlie. So maybe she can tell me now so everybody knows when the minutes are gonna be posted. Can you do that, Terry Cantor? Thank you. No. She can't. A gentleman no, has no. his hand raised. Yes, and when you're done talking, I will move on to them, but you have not said you're done talking yet. Are you done, Kevin? I rest, I rest, Mr. Chairperson. I rest, Mr. Chairperson. Okay. Okay, so it looks like we have Pat. Okay, go ahead. Patrick, go ahead. Patrick, you there? All right, uh, yeah, first thing, let me address two things that was raised. Um, first thing, pertaining to the number of calls, Eldon, you did raise a very valid point there pertaining to the um, emergency services that we have with community towns. Talking to, and, and, and there's two other people on this call that know the guy I'm gonna talk about. Talking to a person and a in a town that we have a community service with, they are actually reducing their personnel and their equipment because Ashby is increasing their equipment and things of that nature that covers that. They're actually calculated that about, and this is what I was told. I haven't seen the numbers because nobody in town will give those up. There's actually a calculation out there that approximately 63%, this is coming from the community towns, 63, this came from one of the community towns that does the water tank with us, the driver from there. 63% of our community aid service, 63% is our community aid service to other towns. We receive approximately 22 to 23% from community towns. So we give out more than we receive. And so we pay more money for the vehicles than what we receive in from these other com communities. This is the act. This is how they're looking. I mean, I'm just explaining what I was told. If somebody wants to know a name. I'll give it to the two other people that are on here that knows this guy. He has more credibility than anybody on this committee or on this board. Saying that, that individual also, he gave me the numbers of what we respond to on his town. So when I'm getting them from a different town that's saying about 62% of our community aid we do in 62 or whatever the numbers are, 64, outside of our community, we only receive 23 back. That's telling us the chief is not doing a good management of the community aid services with other towns. We're paying more for what our individuals to go cover another town than what we get from them. Okay, maybe we have too much that we don't, that that's why they're relying on us and they're not buying new equipment. They actually said they're not building a new fire station there because we're building one. We're going to have the new engines. They're not going to need it. Okay, they don't need and they don't need anything above that. All they do is just carry the water tank or one truck. That's all they need to, and they have the same amount of people that we have because we're buying all the new stuff for their town. And this was said to me, saying that you, you can figure out whatever you guys want to on that one. And I'm just telling you. 62 percent i'm going to publish those numbers okay well patrick, our community aid patrick no alvin unless you unless let's, you show me facts me different about this guy has credibility with me let has, me let me finish Elden. he has credibility with me you show me facts different don't lie to me show me facts how about you tell me who this person is so that i can you don't talk need to, to know myself you don't need to talk to him. I'll show him to two other people. Okay, so you I'm not no giving fact. him to you because you have a tendency of harassing. You harass people and you lie to I them. Don't I don't allow that. Buddy. I don't you harass anybody. I do that much. Say I harass them. Eldon, tell to where you came from because think about it, Eldon. I don't have collection agencies down there fighting me, chasing me. Come on. I have collection agencies chasing you? What? No, I don't. 
Well, what were you saying that but I have to leave like that alone, you? Alden? Go back hmm. to where you can't because Alden, this guy has credibility. Well, if you don't, if you can't present a name, you can't present a witness, you can't present facts that can be verified by me. In that case, you have no facts. You have a story. You have a wisp in the wind. If you give me his name so that I can talk to him and verify these things, then you have a fact. If I can't verify them, they're not a fact. Elton, really I will show you the facts from him. You don't agree with them. Provide facts back. Don't be an idiot and say, I disagree with them, but I'm not providing anything. Provide them facts back. Don't lie to us. Don't I'm be not, an idiot. I'm not doing any lying. Provide facts. Let me restart. Provide facts. Oh, I will provide the facts for that. Provide contradictory facts. This is another town saying what we do. Now, you're telling me that they're wrong? No, are I'm you telling you they're no wrong. Because... Facts. Let me ha know who this person is. Are you saying I can talk to him? I can do right, it. I'm, and I'm, you can verify him. You can disagree. Show me the town facts. What's the problem with you showing the town facts? Why are you going to lie to us? Any facts to me to verify? People have asked you 10 times over to tell us the number of calls. You ha you refuse to. People have asked you several questions. You're saying to everybody, go get it from the clerk. You're, you're supposedly the cha chairperson of the town account. You're, the, you're supposedly the chairperson. You should have these numbers. I had these numbers for people as a secretary way before a meeting. Why can't your people, if you think they're... Why can't you do that for people? All right. Why Patrick, can't you? Patrick? Show me the facts. That's all I ask. Stop term, lying. A term comes to mind, an old parable. You can give a man a fish or you can teach him to fish. Have to wait. And in order to... Eldon, go back fact, to high school. You Matthew, haven't finished college. Stop. 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 Can you stop interrupting? You get to the level of everybody on this call and you can talk to us. I, I apologize for disrupting. My apologies, um, Mr. Garhart. Um, I just want to call out uh, if we have somebody who's disruptive and continues to be disruptive and to curse, we are actually within rights to this have that space in the, the meeting room. Um, you can Thank have, you. One can have a voice, but it is actually disruptive um, to continue to interrupt the chair. Yeah, it is also disruptive for the chair to interrupt the individual, Terry. Be careful what you say. You have been interrupted, Terry. Be careful what you say the entire time. I will ask you because to stop cursing. I will ask you to stop cursing on these calls. You are being disruptive. I will yield back to Mr. Garhart. Thank you very much. Thank you all right. May I ask another committee member, do they believe that Mr. Gerhardt has not been interrupting people? That will clarify everybody. We're done, Patrick. We're done. You have not, you're not discussing anything to do with FinCom. Okay, right now, yes. this, what you're discussing- He has I, even interrupted me. Okay, if you continue to interrupt me, I will determine that you are being disruptive and you will be asked to leave the meeting. Okay. The thing is, you're putting out facts there. But you're not providing a source of these facts for me to verify. And then you're just telling me to fix it when you're not giving me the facts or the sources to compare and get the whole story on. And I'm not, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to jump through a hoop. Because one person said that they know someone who said this. I want the facts in front of me. So if you're unwilling to present the facts, then what you are expressing is an opinion and it's unverifiable. Therefore, it's an opinion. If you, if you want to give me their name and I can talk to them and I can find out the whole story, that's great. I will do that. And if it's a way, something that town needs to be addressed, I will do that. That's not a problem. I can do that. I can be fair and unbiased. But I will not let you come on here and just spout facts of wispy people that you won't divulge that exist that are saying these things because then it's just rumor. And if there is not to be rumor, it has to have facts. Okay, Pat? Uh, let, me, let me ask this, please. 
I don't go ahead. trust. I don't trust you as a committee member. Can I ask you to provide me the facts from the town as to how many calls they did and how much of that was uh, mutual aid? Those are the two numbers I have from a, a local town. That's what we consider community aid to them. Why can't you provide that in what towns they are? Then I will compare it to his. If he's wrong, right. I'll tell you his name. You know how but to do he's a... right. Go ahead, Pat. Then you owe this whole town an apology. No, you're saying you have the numbers for the how many fire and we've done more calls on EMTs. You say you have them, Eldon. Please just produce them, please. Just please. You've already said you had them, so they're on bracket. They have first to be all, produced. I, first of all, I never said that I had any numbers. Never did I say that. Don't put words in my mouth. Second of all, you know how to do, we, we all know you know how to do a Freedom of Information Act request. So you can get these numbers if it's concerned. So why, why are you saying that these committees and these boards have to provide you with facts when you have the very ability to walk into a building, ask them for them? Why, why are you making other people find your facts? Because under, 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 under open meeting law, if you raised it, Alden, the secretary must document it and show where those documents are that you've raised. You have said several times that the fire department on EMTs have had more calls that I am wrong, and I compare my numbers to the annual town report. You say I am wrong. So you have a document, or you have to have a document to support that. And the secretary has to attach that to her report, or what the name of that is for people to know. That is what we want. First of all, no, please. Alden, you did. I can no, go back to the recording. Let's get that loan. I'm not debating it, please. First of all, I have never said that I have facts. I've never said that I have a document. I can get word of mouth, and that can't be published. And just because something is mentioned does not mean that the document needs to be provided on the minutes or anything like that. It just needs to be attached to the minutes if it is something that is discussed. Like if we held, if we held that in our hands and we discussed amongst ourselves, the call numbers, then yes, it would have to go onto the minutes or be available for the town secretary to be able to pull it and attach it to something or put it with something. But she has to have that to do with that, you know. She has to have that that data to be able to send mm -hmm. out a request. But if she doesn't have it, she can't do it. But another thing is. If just because we vaguely discuss something does not mean that we have to have the documentations of all of it, especially when it's an opinion, much like your statements, which are opinions. So, okay. Eldon, I'm not going to debate that. I'm just explaining to you. You did say when I questioned the EMT numbers, you did say that they had higher call records this year and that I was wrong. And the records I received were wrong, that even though they came from the clerk, they're wrong because they're in the annual town report. They're wrong. So Nothing I'm asking you, and you said, you said the right, what you had received in your knowing was higher. That's fine. I'm going to leave that alone. I'll go back to the recording. But the minute you raise that in a meeting, it becomes part of open meeting. No, it Anything that you email amongst each other is open meeting. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's a record. Talk to Angie, talk to Angie please. It's um, a record request. Leave that one. That's fine. You need to talk to Angie because that's a record request. No. Minutes. Okay. All right. I'll leave. I'll, I'll, I don't mind opening up a complaint. I'll, I'll deal with that one. Um, so I look forward to getting issue is, so I can send it back to you. The issue is, Eldon, if you disagree with my numbers, okay, you are a very intelligent, as you consider yourself a very intelligent person. Produce the contradictory numbers. Produce facts. That's all I ask. I'm not going to do your research well, and go and ask for the public records for you. That's very funny. I know, that you what, I, I know that. what I received from this gentleman, and I know it's true. Well, you, see, when you did a request for that. records or whatever, your family, you deleted your records. You have caused no. a problem for this town no. clerk nobody had ever seen. You went and deleted all your records. No, I did. You've got all of my records up until uh, January 8th, I think, right? 
And so how many I'm records? I'm not asking. I just just produce the facts. That's all I ask, please. How many records have you sent in on your Simple. request? Zero, okay. right? Okay, but here's the thing. You tell me that I put a fact out there. I have to produce evidence. You put a fact out there. It can just be your word, and we have to take it. So what you're saying is, do as I say, not do as I do. So, and that is showing a lot of what your type of character is. So you need to make sure that if you're going to request that I submit facts, you have to do the same because if not you're you're showing hypocrisy so i will go and i will find those records for you pat you get the name of this individual you talk to in another town about these calls for service you give me that and then you we won't have a hypocrisy existing here how about that Anything else, Pat? All right. Well, I guess you don't have anything more to say, Pat. Okay, Patrick, you there? Anything? All right. Okay, so let's see, do we have any other hands up? I see no other hands up. Okay. I just, hey, Eldon. Eldon? Yes. Eldon? Yes. Eldon? Yes. Mr. Chairperson, yes. I just received a text from Patrick McPhee that he got bumped off and he is trying to reconnect to you. He is well, asking if you would hold for 20 seconds. If he can get back in here. Before we adjourn the meeting, then great. But if not, I'm not going to hold all these people up and I'm not going to run this meeting on the fact that he got disconnected. Okay. So I will give him some time. In all fairness, I'm just relaying a message. No, I'm back on. What's up, guys? Are you done talking, I'm Pat? At the beach, guys. It's kind of hot. It looks Are like you, you unmuted him. I didn't mute anybody, Kevin. Are you done talking, Pat? Yes, go ahead. I didn't say, Jesus, you don't listen. <clears throat> I have no idea what you're even talking about, Kevin. Are, are you done talking, Pat? Go ahead. Are you done talking, Pat? Uh, done to what aspect? I know I got disconnected. I don't know where you picked up, so I don't know what I'm done talking and are, what point you were asking about. Well, are have you said what you wanted to say? How about that? Um, I'll, Alden, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to raise it again. Give me the numbers of the calls for the ambulance and the police department for the year. We should have those. Those are very simple. And give me what is used for. The uh, community dispatch that we're, we're sending all our officers, all our personnel to. I would like to have it broken down like the police department does, but I don't think anybody's capable of doing right. that right now. I know the chief does it. I don't think our dis we can get okay. that from the dis I'm trying to get it from dispatch. I don't think okay. we have that capability yet. Okay, well, I will, I will try to get that for you, Pat. And uh, likewise, if you could get me the name of that person you have been quoting tonight about this discrepancy. I would appreciate that because, you know, that would be something that would be interesting to me and it's something that I could follow up on and I could check on. So I would request that you give me those facts. I will definitely look in trying to find those call volume things for you, but I also ask that maybe you provide the name of the person you were talking to, talking about. If not, then I can only believe that it is rumor, okay? Um, anything else, Pat? Uh, no, I disagree on that album. I, I will once you produce all the facts. I consider 90% of what I've received from you to be rumor until I see facts. This gentleman, I'm going to tell you right now, he's an EE qualified. He's, he is above in everybody in this meeting. <laughs> His credibility will far exceed anybody that you got. Okay, great. So, so he, just he, let he me know his name and I can talk to him and I'll... Uh, I was floored. I was floored. 
Okay, well, just get me his I'm name so I can talk to him and I can get the facts myself. No, and then we'll go from there. I'll do. Hmm. Uh, send, me, send me your numbers. Send me numbers. And if I see discrepancy in what I'm getting from another town to what no. I'm getting from our town, I don't think it should be you. I don't think it should be me. I don't think it should no. be the town for the selectmen. I think it should be the state that does who's right, who's All right. Well, we're, we're done, Pat. Obviously, we're at an impasse. I'm going to do my part and try to find those numbers. Hopefully, you can be forthcoming and do your part and produce the name. But that's all we've got on that. Uh, we're not going to beat a dead horse anymore. Anything else other than that topic, Pat? Nope, I'm good. Okay. All right. Is there anybody else? Okay. Nobody else has anything. Anybody else have anything to say that's on the committee? Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, I move that we adjourn the meeting at 8.50 p.m. Wow, that's, this has been a long meeting tonight. Second. I miss the short ones. I miss the short ones. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Kevin, are you there? Kevin. Yeah, we're there? working on it. Okay, well, we're yeah, adjourning the meeting. Can you hear me? The eyes have it. The eyes have it. Okay, thank you. All right. Oh, it looks like Robin already answered for me. Thank you, Robin. Yes. Okay, so everyone have a good evening. And I'll speak we'll for myself next, next time. time. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Have a good evening. <laughs>